What do you think the future holds? Are they going to let Trump be president? If, uh, you know, they protested him. They called him names. He won anyway. They impeached him twice on ridiculous pretenses. They <laughs> fabricated a lot about what happened on January 6th in order to impeach him again. It didn't work. He came back. Then they indicted him. It didn't work. He became more popular. Then they indicted him three more times. And every single time his popularity rose. So if you begin with criticism, then you go to protest, then you go to impeachment, now you go to indictment, and none of them work. What's next? I mean, let, you know, graph it out, man. We're speeding toward assassination, obviously, and no one will say that, but I don't, I don't know how you can't reach that conclusion. You know what I mean? Like, they have decided, permanent Washington, both parties have decided that there's something about Trump that's, that's so threatening to them, they just can't have him. I mean, they're putting him on trial in March of next year in the J6 case, which basically consists of trying to send him to prison for the rest of his life for complaining about the last election. That's literally what it is. Again, if this were happening in Moldova, the State Department would issue an all-hands-on-deck order to let the world know this is not a legitimate government. And yet our government is doing it. It's like, it. I, it's, it's really, it's hard to overstate how bad this is. And I'm not, I, I don't I don't know where it's going, but there's a collision that's clearly imminent. And by the way, the president is senile in a way that's impossible to deny. Biden's not running the government, you know? So, like, I don't know. I mean, I've never been this worried about anything as I am about where this is going. The worst thing that could happen to the country, and more specifically to you in the professional class, is to have Donald Trump as president. And everything you have tried has failed. And they have been accelerating steps, protests, impeachment, indictment. Like, w w how many more arrows do you have in your quiver? And what's the next one? And of course, it's assassination. And assassination happens around the world. I had dinner with former president of Haiti in my house last night. His successor was murdered in his bed in the presidential palace in Port-au-Prince. And he's hardly alone. People get assassinated. I mean, I, they've been assassinated in this country. Far more Just often in than Japan. we're willing to admit. It happened in Japan. That's exactly right. So it's not it's not crazy. And of course, it's the last thing I want. I said it directly to Trump, by the way, because it's so obvious. How could you not say that? So I did. And he did not engage with me at all on that subject. And I don't know what he actually thinks of it, but he's smart. And so he must know that that's true. There, it started with protests against you, massive protests, right. organized protests by the left. And then it moved to impeachment twice. Right. And now indictment. I mean, the next stage is is violence. Is, are you worried that they're going to try and kill you? Why wouldn't they try and kill you, honestly? Uh, they're savage animals. They are people that are sick, really sick. You have great people in the Democrat Party. You have great people that are Democrats. Most yeah. of the people in our country are fantastic, and I'm representing everybody. I'm not just Republicans or right. conservatives. I represent everybody. I'm the president of everybody. But I've seen what they do. So again, it's just another example of what you said a minute ago wisely. If you want to know what's true, Look at the things you're not allowed to say. You're not allowed to say them, not because they're conspiracy theories or lies. Right. You're not allowed to say them precisely because they are not conspiracy theories or lies. They are true.